about lessons to be learned about the book of Proverbs. So please go to Minister Esther Word, Minister Esther Word YouTube channel, Minister Esther Word YouTube channel, subscribe to it and click the bell and you'll be notified whenever we post it. We'll be posting to you the Proverbs one until the end. Every single day, we will post you the Bible studies about the book of Proverbs and the wisdom for living, the wisdom that we will draw. Why do we start every year with the book of Proverbs? Because we need the wisdom and the counsel and the guidance of God for the new year. One of the greatest powerful weapons is wisdom. A wise man, a wise woman, you can never beat them. It, it takes you to be wise to serve the Lord. It, that's what the Bible says, that the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. So anybody who says there's no God is already known to be foolish. And it takes a wise person to know that they have to serve the Lord, a wise person to know they have to pray, a wise person to know that they have to obey God, a wise person to know that they have to make it to, the, to heaven. So we always start our year with the book of Proverbs. This time around, Minister Esther is going to be doing every day daily, daily chapter by chapter with you. So day one starts tomorrow, Sunday, which is today. And we'll be posting it on her channel. So you go in there, a short clip, maybe 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, and you listen to it. As you read your Proverbs chapter 1, you also go out, out there and find out what the Lord is also revealing that you can add to it. And we are going to be doing it the whole of this month, this new month, this new month of January, so that um, it, it could help you to walk in the wisdom of God. Many of the problems we face on a yearly basis is because of wrong decisions, wrong choices, wrong associations, wrong steps, wrong moves. But when we, in one, we walk in the light of God's truth and the wisdom of Christ, some of the deliverance you are praying for, you don't have to pray for them because now when some people are coming around you, you know that I cannot, be, be, I cannot befriend this gossiper. The person has already proven to be a gossiper. I cannot be a friend to the gossiper. The person has proven to be a liar. I cannot be a friend to the liar. The person has proven to be a womanizer. Why should I, why should I marry this guy when he has already proven to me that he's unfaithful? Because of what? Wisdom. So please take the Proverbs, the book of Proverbs seriously and start reading every chapter and then go to Minister Esther Word. Minister Esther Word on YouTube channel. Subscribe to it and also find out what God is also emphasizing as we read the chapter. So every day we'll be posting the chapters. To, today, Sunday is going to be chapter one. Monday will be chapter two. And we'll be posting the short, short videos. Very short, brief, and to the point so that it will help you understand the, the, the proverbs and the wisdom and how we can walk in wisdom this year. And once you walk in wisdom, you, you do things right. You do the right thing at the right time, at the right place, and you attract the right people and the right things happen to you. Because you find yourself always in the center of God's perfect will. So please take advantage of this first uh, month Bible studies. We are helping you to facilitate your Bible studies, to enhance your knowledge, and especially to walk in the wisdom of God, to trash all the worldly philosophies and ideologies, and to know what Christ God wants us to do. And it will be better. It will be. In fact, this year, nothing changes until we change transformation does not start from outside transformation starts from within so there should be a shift a shift in our thinking a shift in our actions a shift in our attitude and then we'll begin to see transformation true transformation then you are beginning to, going to see that wow things are changing things are really improving now i'm making a headway because i am walking and operating in the wisdom of god so join minister esther on daily for the next, I think the book of uh, Proverbs is up to 30, uh, 20 something or whatever. Uh, we'll be posting it daily, 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 daily. So, yeah, we are meeting on Wednesday. So, you are going to be reading Proverbs chapter 1, Proverbs chapter 2, Proverbs chapter 3, Proverbs chapter 4. So, by the time we meet on Wednesday, you should be reading Proverbs chapter 4. And we'll be posting Proverbs chapter 1, 2, 3, 4 on to Wednesday for you to be able to go go there and listen. And please share it with friends, share it on your page and let people also connect to. So subscribe, please, after here, go and subscribe to Minister Esther Word, Minister Esther Word YouTube channel. 
Minister Esther Ward, click on the bell and you'll be notified and like it and spread the word. So yeah, I hear the book of Proverbs is 31 chapters. So we'll be doing 31 videos to help you walk in the wisdom of God and we'll be ready for this new season in Jesus' name. Our Fresh Fire Conference is also coming up on January 20th and 21st. January 20th and 21st in Maryland. Those of you who haven't registered, this is the last time. Go and register before we, we are filled because we have only about 5% left. It, we are almost full. So just go and register for the coming conference in the next couple of two weeks or three weeks. Uh, in, um, go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com and you click on registration and you can register for the conference which is coming up in the next two weeks in Maryland. Come and you'll be richly blessed in Jesus' name. Also, you can sacrifice, release your sacrifice concerning this fast, this three days fast and concerning your never again and the new transition on our website www.freshfireprayer.com You'll see the donation link and raise your sacrifice and Bring your family and say, Father, by this sacrifice, please, I thank you on behalf of my family for last year. And I thank you for my family for this year. When we talk about these things, you see, if you can read it, Minister Esther, immediately we finished, she sold her seed. A thousand dollars. A thousand. We don't tell you things. We practice what we teach. Immediately, before she went to work today, she came knelt down for me to lay my hands on her and to pray for her. She went to burn her, her ashes and then wrote a thousand dollars for her sacrifice. We don't, we are not manipulating nobody. We do what we know helps and works because we know that if it wasn't for God, some of us are not supposed to see this new year and we have no idea what they have planned for this year also. But the God who saw us through last year is the same God who will faithfully keep us. So we know how to work our altar. You think altar is just talking, talking, and praying, praying. You have to work your altar. If you want to soar high as eagles, you have to know how to work your altar. Me too, when I finish, I'm raising my sacrifice. May God bless you. May God enrich you, bless you, prosper you. And I'm going to see you on Wednesday. I'll be seeing you, God willing, this coming Wednesday. But from now to Wednesday, please write down your five prayer requests. Write down your five prayer requests. Five things you are believing and trusting God to do for you this coming year and start praying that father please show me your mercy this year don't let it just be old prayer point but let it be a real a realization a manifestation of this grant me grace and also the things i wrote as never again let them never repeat itself in fact i will advise you to go back and listen to today's broadcast about the spirit of pharaoh and deal with that spirit of pharaoh which is connected to household witchcraft. Deal with the spirit of Pharaoh that is dealt with family altars. Deal with the spirit of Pharaoh that is dealt with strong men and strong women in our lives. Very important. Because if we don't deal with these powers, they, it's a familiar spirit. They will show up and then keep us going like a treadmill, recycling our problems again and again. Some of you also take advantage and come to this deliverance conference coming up on the 20th and 21st in Maryland. And we will go deeper and deal with these issues of this, this, this curses and witchcraft. Come and deliver yourself and get your impartation for the new year in the name of Jesus Christ. For every other information, go to the website www.freshfireprayer.com and get the book also. It will help you. It will help you with prophetic declaration to the new year and we'll be dealing with the anointing service. Immediately we start our 40 days fasting and prayer. In Jesus' name. May God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Any information, go to the website www.freshfireprayer.com. I wish you all a happy and prosperous new year, new season, new day. May God Himself visit you and show Himself mighty and strong. I'll come back on Wednesday to start giving you the prophetic word for the new season, the new year, and how we can move forward and fulfill destiny in Jesus' mighty name. Until then, go back and be praying the Pharaoh spirits prayers and also join Minister Esther every single day until Wednesday for the, um, the book of Proverbs as you, you gain uh, wisdom for victory, wisdom for victory for this new year. Shalom. Peace be unto you all. Bye.